Warning, the following video is performed by a trained professional. It is meant for educational purposes only. Please do not attempt to try anything you see here. Enjoy. Hey YouTube, Dan from South Hall Computing here today, and we have an Asus RTN16 wireless router that we're going to be putting DDWRT as well as the Tomato third-party firmwares on it. So without waiting anymore, let's get right into it. I got my Firefox open here, and we have the wiki page from DDWRT.com for this router here. And we've already downloaded the firmware that we need to get it initially on board with DDWRT. Now this here is the address that you'll need to connect to the router where you need to get to to actually upload the firmware here. So I already inputted the username and password which was admin admin, the, the default username and password. Once you've gotten into this administration page here, or I should say web page, for the router, we're going to go to administration, and then we're going to go to firmware upgrade, and I'm going to say new firmware file, browse, and we're going to go to my downloads folder where I grabbed everything, and to make this read a little bit better, let's pop that over there. Now the one that I'm going to use here, I'm actually going to put it into the description here so you guys know where to grab it from but there's two versions here the one from the wiki page is a way out of date starter file but I was able to go to DDWRT's FTP site and grab the newest one so let's go ahead and grab that here say open and let's say upload Okay, so as we can see, after three minutes time here, I'm going to stop the timer on this other one here, for about four minutes, I should say, it took to flash the firmware, and voila, we have the mini version of the latest version of DDWRT, and I'm just going to give it a default username and password, nothing crazy here, and if we wanted to have the full featured set of DDWRT, you want to use the mega version. So we're going to go into administration on this firmware upgrade and we're going to say reset to factory defaults, browse, and we're going to grab this guy this time. Where are you? The mega version of the latest version of DDWRT. Open and we're going to say upgrade. Okay, so now we have the mega version on this router here, and I'm again just putting a default username and password, logging in, and if DDWRT is my desired firmware of choice, then I would just leave it as is. But if you wanted to do tomato, this is what I would do next. Now I like to do DDWRT first. I always have the greatest success rate when I do that firmware first and then do tomato. So again we're gonna say reset to factory settings again or default settings. Browse. The firmware that we're using here is the advanced tomato firmware that's based on the Shibi mod. So we'll have the link in the description as well for this. We're gonna say open. Next is, uh, next is the upgrade button again. Okay, so we're back and we had to reboot the router after it took the tomato firmware. And also we did was unplug the power, waited about 10 seconds, plugged it back in. So let's see if we can log back into this new firmware. And again, it's admin admin for the default username and password. And voila, there you go. If you like what you see here, obviously give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe, comment, do what you got to do. It will be greatly appreciated. 
This is Dan from Southall Computing, and as always, until the next time. <laughs>